November 20th. Uh, first on the agenda, as always, is uh, consideration of prior minutes, and we have um, one public hearing, one on minimum housing standards. Um, this, this, the regular meeting of last Monday, and then the budget workshop of Saturday. Okay, we good? Yeah. All right, so we good. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, community input, Mark. He's here as a department head. So oh, okay. are you here as a department head too? Yeah, that's right. Come on up. <laughs> I just wanted to learn something by you guys. Um, um, you know what I put in for my budget for next year? I put in for that computer and thing. Well, I've got some uh, money left over in this year's budget. I was wondering if I if I was able to purchase that this year, and then uh, then I wouldn't have to go up in my budget the next year. I could stay the same uh, as I was. You can do a purchase order. If you've got the funds, you can certainly do a purchase order. Mm -hmm. And if the money's in your budget, I don't know why this board wouldn't accept yeah, a purchase order. Right. So, yeah, that's I a... Did, I did, uh, I've been doing some research. And, uh, do you have a machine in mind? And it has <coughs> right, in but I've got two of them. One's cheaper than the other, but I get a call and find out sure. what it's going to be. Sure. Curious, what are they running these days? Roughly? See, the problem I get to get is that I got to get that office professional in yes, 2016, and yeah. that's what's expensive. It is. And uh, the uh, the computer itself was uh, well, this one was 4.99, but there's another one for three the three something. But I want to make sure yeah. it's, it's a little bit smaller. But I want to make sure that sure. You know, my thought, but I don't have the time to pursue it. Right. It's just it's just the terrible right. truth. My no. thought is that we could probably do what you need to have done on a spreadsheet. In which case, so right now it's in Microsoft Access. If we could do it in a spreadsheet, we could you could get a Chromebook, you could have access to the software that Google makes available, which is spreadsheeting software. And you know, the Chromebook will cost you three hundred bucks, period, because this you don't need any software, it's all online. Right. But I you know I think absent anybody being able to sit down and look at that, I mean, you know. need to do it right. the way you know it would work. Well, and I understand that. That's, that's I understand right. completely. That's I wanted it reasonable. I just, yeah. just put it over here and, and yeah. then Absolutely. And I can still use my computer and then transfer yeah. stuff and it'll be here. There's something that I can show Andrea how to. Mm -hmm. And it's whatever. good to have redundancy. Right. So that's a good deal. So I, yeah. All right, so sure, if you've got the money this year, it's a good plan. All right. Okay. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, do you, uh, do do you want, want no. this one? Well, you said you're going to do some more research, right? Where is it to? I didn't know so you, you were submitting it. Too? Well, it's not the up to, it's the vendor. So this is... Uh, that's um, through... through you know, it's always better through what? It's through De Dell. Directly. It's out directly. So... It's, it's, yeah, they get a special for uh, Black Friday uh, special or whatever. So it would be better? I, I'd be purchasing it and then I, I could. All right, so you give all the receipts, blah, blah, blah? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. okay, we, we, can, we can do it. Can you do that? Yeah, up to. Well, just whatever he says. I mean, yeah. you, don't, you don't need to say up to. The purchase order is for that, and he doesn't have to spend that. No, <laughs> right, right. Like I said, if I, I'm looking at that other one, which is cheaper. If I can, yeah. because I don't care. I mean, as long as it just <coughs> that, yeah. that's all I care about. Yeah. And, uh, and, and then I'll, uh, but I'll talk to the people at Dell and make sure that uh, they can do everything I want to do. Sure. Move to accept purchase order 1284 um, to Mark Kucher for reimbursement of one Dell laptop including Office uh, Professional 16 install for $869.97. Second. Any discussion? I want some people to say aye. 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 Can I ask a question? Yes. Is that computer going to be housed here? Yes. And that's going to have Microsoft Office Professional? Right. So can I use that for the um, new slide if I need to? That would be a... Yeah, if you can make an arrangement with it, it would be owned by the trustees, the right. trustees right. of the cemetery, but yeah. it's a town asset. Right. Exactly. So I, I don't have a problem. Yeah, so as long as you know, it, you know, it's yeah, not it gonna mess up my here. No, the program. The, uh, yeah. I would I it's right. just that I'm I'm having issues no, with, have with the publisher. I think it's a great it's a great plan if you're willing, yeah. that I saves us a, a 
All right, super. Thank you. Did I not? Did we not vote? No. All right. So there was. I know there was a first and a second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you for doing that. Thank you. Sounds good to me. Now we can reduce it for. Thank you. All right. Yeah. So, Mark, Mark, so I can reduce that budget then by a thousand. That's right. Even better. Yay. Right. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, and I'll, I'll change the thing and give you a copy. Okay, thank you very thank much. You. Have a good night. George. Good evening. Wow. Well. Question? Turn they probably in next spring or tomorrow. I sweep it. I go down the corner, in front of my skid steer, which okay. will adapt to theirs. Yeah, and uh, they also have a line striping machine that we could borrow as needed. Works for me, George. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And we got that very nice letter from Mike. You know, saying you know when we were talking back and forth about Kelman, oh. uh, that you know right. we're it, we're, we're, we're half we're I mean, great. This is the it's great. To, and we, you know, oh, it's, it's not, that, it's not public right. works, okay. No, oh, no, right. no, right. no right. 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 so, yeah, that's so much yeah. yeah, no, that's great, and, thank uh, you. I just wanted to make sure that was an issue. Yeah, yeah, there's, uh, uh, <clears throat> so that's all you need, you'll just borrow that machine, you'll do. Yeah, they can actually be done with it tomorrow, and they said, they'll put it right on the back of our dump truck, we can clean up our stuff we need to clean up. Super. This is what I got from... Oh, those are your notes. Not a heck of a lot on it. That's, that's the way I got it right there. Yeah. They didn't do anything. Uh, the truck is probably going to get housed in that thing, but they're going to discuss that with their select board, and that'll be a couple weeks before they decide. And the meeting was actually just car talking. So, if I, I'm just going to follow up on that for, for our purposes. So, we still need to determine then. And this is a hole in our budget right now. We need to determine what we think it's going to cost us to haul uh, our garbage to. Did they, did they talk at all, George, about uh, dispatch? Yeah, they, they really touched everything. Everything was up in the air. They, okay. they don't have anybody. You know, they talked about it, but they really no solutions. So no solutions. Not a couple yeah. weeks. Okay. And they're not retiring until March. So is it still going to be housed until March then? He didn't, they didn't say that. They're working on how you can get that before that. Okay. Apparently. All right. All right. So, Judy, I don't know, maybe you can follow up with somebody. Uh, so, <coughs> did, yeah. I think George, I, I'll I'll go, I think, well, he, Joe, Jay. Joe from, uh, Joe from Northwest. Is he the one who's no longer around? No, Jay's moving to the map area. But no, Joe, no, 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 the guy in Northwood was at the meeting, and uh, Joe wasn't there. And they said he's no longer there. Uh -huh. oh. That's not good. No, I, it was Northwood they were talking about, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. Was there a representative Why? from Northwood? No. Nope. Oh, it didn't sound like it was a very productive It wasn't. It was something recent, apparently. Um, okay. Okay. I have the. Yeah, this, this is just what it was. For, uh, Insulation for the little shed for the transfer station, mm -hmm. and it would be about 164 dollars for the shed of uh, all insulation. So you could get this with your credit card. It's under the yeah, box. I, I know okay, that. Okay, just saying. the transfer station thing, I wanted to do it. Okay. Is that extra cost? That extra side cost? I know what you're saying. I think that George Moore, you know, it wasn't like it was an expect, expected expense. So. The transfer station you wanted a purchase order separate for the transfer station warrant article, but, but I think we already, already spent it all. Yeah, yeah. So this is kind yeah. of yeah. because the, we talked about the insulation in like September. Yeah. Okay, so I'll move purchase order number nine eight three to Middleton Lumber for uh, insulation uh, for one hundred and sixty four dollars and eight cents. Second. Okay. 
Any discussion? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, well, um, is this the last piece of work that we needed to, to yeah, get up online? Just, we need four pieces of insulation to insulate that new shit. Okay. Apparently they had a problem with the gas. Either they had the guy in today. Okay. We were just installed and we were working right this weekend. So maybe this is So now that we've been working, not working, I'm pretty full. Yeah, it was Townsend. Yeah, Townsend. Okay. Because after right. I looked at it, I didn't get no results, but I don't know if okay. too much of an issue or not. And this is a purchase order for the... Let us, oh. Let's go to the Any other yeah. questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Yes. Aye. So this is, uh, you were anticipating about 14, so this is actually okay. a little bit less. Okay. And this would do pretty much what you were hoping to do. That'll do everything do. we wanted to do on that lot. Okay. So, uh, Make it safer to get up in order to regular set of stairs and then attaching both lots together and having all these storage up off the ground upstairs. So um, I would like to spend some time to see where in our budget this would come from. Okay. That, that would be my only uh, hesitation. Mm -hmm. But before I spend the time to do that, is the board otherwise amenable to, mm -hmm. to, to this project? Okay, yes, so I'll, so we'll, let's uh, table this or whatever yep. one does, you know, what, what you're going to do, what is one to do? I'll just, I can just move, remove, uh, I'll send my uh, okay. motion to move, I'll just yeah, send my, my motion to move the okay, so purchase order. I'm Joey from the center for a second. Okay, good. So we're taking it off the table, but uh, it looks like we're all set. I just need to spend a little bit of time. Yeah, no problem. I just and how much is it? The purchase order is for $1,121.10. Don't, don't feel compelled to put the cents. Well, that's what was on the printout I get from them. So. Yes. I'm going to put it in my folder and then just get the money Yeah, that would be a perfect thing. Actually, yeah, I mean, sooner rather than later because, you know, we don't want, we'd like to have everything, all the spending taken care of, yeah. So hopefully I'll be able to, to get an answer soon. Okay. I sent out an email this morning uh, thanking the police department for yes, we the base radio station for the highway department. Okay. We installed that last Thursday okay. and it works fine. We get communications all around town. Okay. That's really super And we can talk to any department in town. Okay. That's great. So thank you to the police. and mm -hmm. Yep. So, Okay. Okay. That's wonderful. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's wonderful. Anything else? Let's just, can I just take a quick peek to see if there's anything on the... No, she's, she's peeking. How's your first couple of weeks so far? I didn't get to check in this week. Right. For everybody? For everybody. Everybody. I think it's been great. Awesome. Sure. We can get a lot of things done, get all the passing done around town today. Good. Excellent. And if anybody sees any holes, let us show because we'll take care of it. Yeah. There's nothing here, George. Oh, I did meet Ed today, so that was nice. He oh, good. Yeah, um, I did have to cut into the swale on Foundry Street. Okay. Because there was a water shut off barrier that needed. So, so if there's any questions? Whereabouts? Just for right in front of uh, Metal. Yeah, the first house on the corner of South and yeah. Boundary. Close, yeah, close to South. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna get some crack seal and just patch that up again tomorrow. Okay. We think we filled it in, put a shut off cover on it, so we can get access yeah. to it. But yeah, yeah, we're six inches below the surface, and that happened this winter that and water break or something in the house with the brine. Yeah. Do we think there's any there any others? No, they were, I guess they've been watching it when they did the project, and I don't know why it wasn't uncovered, because it was painted orange. 
sirens on the on South Berwick side of the river. Like constant. I couldn't Well we had an update. updates I usually keep track of what's yeah. going on there. Well like, we had a uh, pretty substantial crash last night at like four thirty ish. Later than that. Right now but that was all by the Grange Hall. Five vehicles involved, three oh, people to the hospital and it could have been the ambulances. Probably. Yeah. I bet it was then, yeah. We you mean on right. Portland Ave, Portland and Roberts? Is that yep. Uh, mm -hmm. yep, very close to not that good. Oh. Within inches of mm -hmm. not wow. being. So but it all worked out. It was by the grain toll, so the turn under Roberts Rose? Well, basically what happened, it was a, an elderly driver just made the turn right in front of a car coming the other way mm -hmm. before it still. Those two bounced off, and then one hit another car, and one hit another car. Mm -hmm. So wow. it was a rather a mess. But that's what happens. It's then. a busy so time of day. Well, too. that's the, that's uh, the intersection uh, we wanted to uh, just uh, to uh, say to do some traffic calming. So I think that's where all of our yeah. action is. If you want to take that turn, mm -hmm. we probably get a dozen a year in there anyway. Mm -hmm. So two things: um, our command vehicle is sitting at Courier's. The hilltop shiver light. I've given all the information. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> Why is it? Do you want to like, wait for the bar? Okay. <laughs> I gave the information to Caroline Thursday night. I uh, think I gave it to Sally. Mm -hmm. I guess she's got it in hand. So I'm kind of waiting on her for you know, registration, mm -hmm. insurance, and all that before we can get it. And, and probably a check. We probably need that to go in. So, probably. And then I guess the next question I have is who's going to sign for it? Do I have the authority to go and sign for the vehicle and pick it up or what? What's, what does the signature say? What, what do you mean? You mean the bill of sale? I guess. Bill of sales? Mm -hmm. They all have all the paperwork there. They just, I'm just coming down to find out I don't, who you want I to don't, be the official person I don't remember sign. that the board has signed for like police cruisers. Mm. If you say so, I'll sign for it, then I'll sign for it. I just yeah, want that's to make sure we're We're just sort of on. talking this out loud. I yeah. don't see, I yeah. mean, is there a reason why? Well, You've got a purchase order. Yep. It's gone through you. So it's gone through us. It's exactly, we've said, it's exactly what I gave I would, I would say that ago. you can okay. do that. Thank you for checking that. Yeah. I do appreciate that. I want to make sure because, yeah. uh, so basically, uh, just waiting on Caroline to let me know and, and, and give us the check and we'll get the vehicle sitting there ready to go. So okay. I, I don't have any update on have, that. Are they the ones who detail it or outfit it or whatever? No. No. So you're going to take it and then that that's why I want to get it in okay. the barn so I can turn around and call two way which down in Newington yeah. and then ship it down to them because that's going to take a week for them to get that thing all done on their end. So, and that's kind of all in the process. We get the thing in the barn, we'll get it to them, we'll have all that stuff squared away, and then it allows me to finalize what I need to get on the new truck. You know, the things that we're trying to take care of, you know, the new radio for that, this is all that. But then some of the other issues we're trying to do on that. <coughs> Uh, I, I've been in the last few times and told me some of the things that we were adding to the fire truck. So, in, in the way the paperwork is, is designed, I have to change orders here, so I need to have a signature. So, this will go to Jerry, <coughs> and then the change order, it's an addition, but you know, it all comes under that, that one big heading. So, um, and these are just for, like I explained before, one is for a slide out tray in the back, the other is for some shelving and compartmentation in, in the sides of the truck. So. That's what these three items are for. So they they raised the contract amount, right? No, the contract amount is the same. What's going to happen with this is um, when this is going to be billed through Eastern Fire and not through Toyn. Toyn is the ones who are going to make the checkout for the fire truck. 
with these additions when they come. That'll be for Eastern Fire, and we'll just uh, take care of those issues through Jerry. He says that was a much more efficient way not to change things that way, so uh, that's the way we did. We've discussed that before. So this actually, this particular one, it takes $870 away. Yeah, actually some of the changes we made actually gave us more credit this takes, on, the, on the other This end. is a credit of 337 and this yeah. is also a credit of 337 But yeah. this has the amount. So, well, give me a minute here to think. No, that's fine. I understand. It can be confusing with all this. I get it. Because, um... Some of the changes we made because of what we were doing, um, put more money back towards our balance. Credit to <coughs> yeah, I'm just trying to think about who who pays what and how we're going to do this because um, if you know whether it comes out of your operating budget or whether it comes out of the warrant, because we've got what I don't know off the top of my head is the, the amounts. It was like I want to say it was like eight hundred dollars left on the warrant article from what the actual pricing was going to right, be. Right, but some of it I think was going to be for the truck. bond council, because we need the bond council to... There's a fee for their work. There's their, a fee for their, their work, work yeah, yeah, yeah. which we've distributed to the various projects. Okay. So I need to look at my stuff. When do you, when, when do you need these things signed? Now. Now. So, um, so you, you can cover... All right, so... Yeah, I'm not handing you anything that is not able to be handled within our operating budget. Right. Away from anything from the war article. That's why I've kind of said I've kind of kept your breast on where we've been and what we've been doing. We did more okay. a certain amount so we could leave to cover right. these different areas. So, so this, so this is a credit. On, so, so we've got money. We've got the money from the bond. So we're we're now saying we don't need 330 whatever 870 of it we don't need 337 of it we don't need. And now we're adding 3,400 here. That's sort of what I'm looking at. So my thought, <coughs> Mark, is that you know when we actually take a look at the finances, to the extent that there's room in the warrant for some of this, because we, I, I, I think I, I, I want to think about this, but I think we're yeah. better off putting it on the warrant. So so it could be less. But, you know, at 7 o'clock on a Monday night and not having the stuff in front of me, I haven't looked at it for a while. I don't know. So, so I'm trying to think of how we, we want it now, so I get that. So, how, so we can do this. Um, so th these are credits, so this should, these are no-brainers, right? So, that, so this is the one that actually has a price associated with it. And I don't know why it's a contract change order because <coughs> we did so we did this through Toyn. So our actual contract is with Toyn, and Toyn did the Toyn 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 is the builder of the truck. Yeah. All right, Toyn is the builder of the truck. So how is it that this thirty four hundred doesn't go in the warrant? Doesn't they don't care how we as long as we pay, they don't care how we pay it. That's the bottom line. Right. Thank you for being patient with me, as I think this is no, true. It's fine. So I'm learning as we go too. I'm picking my calls and my uh, get my information. So we also. have two credits, one um, one that actually adds because even even if you credit those two, this is still yeah. We put those yeah. two to that. This all right. So it knocks that in half. So what what I can do because they won't care. I'll, just so that right. just so that we can get this on this piece of paper is that. Uh, it will come from the warrant first as uh, available, otherwise the operating budget. Out of the budget. operating budget, okay. right. and I, I all right. have that all figured in. Now, I, it's the same thing as we were doing the, the, the command vehicle mm -hmm. and, and going over with Caroline when I submitted the PO and whatnot. I mean, mm -hmm. short, um, because the warrant article was for 40000 mm -hmm. and the vehicle itself came out to 33269 But on the PO, it's written right in there, it's warrant article. So she knows exactly where that comes from. Mm -hmm. And then what's left over of that, which is going to be $6,800, which is going to be towards the rest of the outfitting, 
So that, when I <coughs> put in that PO, that will say water article. Yes. And that takes us right to the 40. Yep. And then what's left over from that, which is two to $2,500, is operating budgets. All right. So. Okay. So and that's I, kind of the same lines that this is going to work. Yeah. And you'll be able to fit all this in with your operating budget. Okay. So let's do them uh, separately. They're all separate uh, change orders. So, Michael, here's, here's the credit. These are the easy ones. Okay. All right, I'll move that we accept the contract change order form number three, which join in the amount of $337, which is a credit. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Move to accept the credit of $337. From Toyn as outlined in contract change order number three. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, Salmi, we, we, we've done this out of order. It was my my fault. So, but unless the board has an objection, can you put change order number two before this change order number three in the minutes? I can. All right. Let me just see what I have written. We're the, we're the customer rep, right? Yeah, right on the bottom. It says support. It says support. Right it on. does. Okay. And I <coughs> saw some more pictures of the truck. It is dangerous to post it. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. When I, I look at it. That's <laughs> super <laughs> duper. Could have used it the other night. Too, so I was mm -hmm. thinking, you know, we could talk about that actually. And the thing is, you're going to be able to go once you get out of the truck, you're going to set it and turn the generator on, you're going to push a button, and this big light power is going to come up, it's going to look like Fenway Park. We could have used that last night, because the car was here, car was here, car was here, to light up the whole thing. So yeah. it's, it's, it's going to be a very nice piece of equipment for our community. When I'm done closing, when we're done closing the USDA culvert thing, we'll sit down with the terms and conditions and sort of map out how we're going to manage the, you know, the destruction. The oh, acceptance, yeah. the destruction, and then getting in the grant, blah, 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 all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right, so this is actually change order number two. <laughs> so. Uh, move to accept a credit of $870 from Tepoin uh, for contract change order form number two. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> okay, so this has both a credit and charge amount, credit amount. I don't know, it's amount, it's, I don't, it, it, I, is this math supposed to work with anything? So the change amount, the charge amount is three thousand four hundred and eleven dollars, which is down here, but I don't know what this credit is. Credit is probably because we made a change with whatever, yeah, whatever not, that one is. Yeah. yeah. So, this is the this so it's both a credit and, and a, yes. but also some charges. <coughs> the final overall charge of this amount is how I say that. Total to be added to final invoice. It's a that's a charge. It's three hundred thirty-seven dollars total to be billed separately. Three hundred three thousand four hundred eleven. Oh, I see. The cre this is a credit to the original, and then this is the separate charge. Okay. All right. You want to make a motion that says that? <laughs> I'm trying. Okay. And, and, I, and I may amend it anyway because what I'd like it to say is that uh, if the, if this charge amount can come from the warrant. I would like it to come from the warrant. Otherwise, the operating budget. So if you can, you can weave that into your motion, Mr. Rowland. I will move that we accept change order number four, which adds to the final invoice of the fire truck $337. And to be built separately in the amount of $3,411 to be taken from the, from the warrant, what's the number? I don't know what was the warrant. The fire truck warrant from the town meeting if possible. Otherwise the operator. Otherwise from the operator. Okay. Right. So we're clear on that? Please mm -hmm. clear on that? Okay, good. And well did done, you Michael. thank you. Thank you.
Uh, all right, so if there's no further comments or questions, I will call it. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Can we have copies of those? Or we do have to see it right here. you got your new machine there. That's, that's our old machine, that's actually. Our old that's like that's machine. on your bike. Oh. There's, there's no goes. fight, but no. but you should know that there's also a maintenance fee associated with it. So I don't know if that makes a difference. Caroline, Caroline knows what that is. what all that is. Yeah, so I would touch base with her. That's You're something. Still in the process of figuring out where to go. Yeah, yeah I think Caroline is going to check in or has checked in or with somebody and is uh, doing the same with the library. I haven't heard anything about that part of it yet. But whoever, whoever needs it. Well, it could, whoever can afford the maintenance, there's a yeah, maintenance fee. Yeah, yeah, we have to have that out of our. Yeah, see what it is because it can come out of our office supply lines. Yeah. So that may change. Uh, both departments' idea about whether or not they want to take this on. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. I don't know what they are. Any idea what it is? It's not that much. I, I did know at one point, but. It depends on the use. Yeah, but there's also a, a flat, there's sort of a flat amount. Carol, I'm not going to take a guess. I would say check in with Carol. Yeah. Copy here. Are they two? Yeah. Didn't she just say she's here? Yeah. Well, I have three things here. I need to give to somebody to have the town mail. Whoever that is. Those are forms for inspections of the uh, grade school. Those go to the proper. Uh, so they can meet their uh, their deadlines for the directions they need to do. It goes to the SAU, it goes to the principal. So you just want the town to mail them? Just mail them. Okay. <coughs> Those are on my desk, that's Kevin's thing. Can you mail these? All right. Yeah. All right, we'll take care of that. I thought you were going to copy them right here. I wasn't in the I can't. We've already copied them. No worries. Anything else? Okay. Just that as we approach the end of the year, um, we always have difficulty with things that cross the fiscal year. So try to get everything in with the invoicing. Yeah. And just, you know, in it's December. Early as I did. Yeah. 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 This toy thing, this last change order, the one that actually has money, if uh, we put that on Tom's list, if it looks like we can't resolve it in FY17, just please remind me. I don't, you know. So it's going to be close enough. What he doesn't like are things that. Yeah, and last good. forever, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, but he needs to know about them too, you know. So this is the case where we'll tell him, we'll say, look, this will get resolved certainly by the end of January, <coughs> whatever we we'll say. So blah blah blah. Yeah, well, like I said, uh, mm -hmm. the truck is dangerously close to me because uh, expecting a couple weeks probably have Jerry say so something. It's probably Danny took the captain's probably going to go out and do the final inspection. He may be involved with getting. Do we drive it back? <coughs> Jerry was going to do it. Jerry is the representative. But he's got three yeah. trucks to deliver within like a week's time, so he'd have to like go there, drive here, go there, drive here. And that's probably not going to be too good. Because Burke's getting two, and we're getting out of all of them in a few weeks. So we talked to Jerry, and Danny's willing to go with him out there and do final inspection and everything. And Jerry would drive one of them back, and Danny would drive ours back. And uh, still haven't heard back from Jerry if that's what his wishes are. <laughs> All right, well, it's exciting. Yeah, like I said, every time I see it, I get a little bit excited. Yeah, it's very close. It looks like a fire truck already is on board. 
That's excellent. Stuff, so. All right. Very good. Have a nice Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you. Also. All right, so it looks like the recipe is here. You guys like to come up? Mentally or physically? No, that's. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna make that judgment. No. Hi guys. Hey. Let's go. So we have. Uh, did you bring copies just the chuckles of the budgets? I mean, I have it. I can bring it up, but. Do you want the one, the original one, or do you want well, which one? Well, this one is new and improved. Is there yet another? I don't. One? I don't have an extra of yours. I'll let you give this today, but I've got I one that we did from last yep. meeting. I've got a. Let me make sure. Yep. Do you have that one? Do you have an extra? I don't have extra. I don't need mine. I mean, I, well, I'm going to be looking for my online okay, copy just to see more. if it's the same. Anybody needs it. Hang on, I do have something here though. I just want to make sure. This one I've done has a bottom line of has the has both the day camp and the team camp together. And the day camp is yes, expenses would... of fifty thousand four fifty five. Yes. And the team camp is what's been replaced since. Yes. Okay. All right. So that's the day camp piece. Can I just see what that looks like to see how it matches up? Bottom line number was the same. But the seven. Day okay, yeah, so this is the one I, uh, <coughs> this is what I have. And now, where are we with the team? Well, the bottom line should, should be different. She doesn't have that. Oh, okay. Yet. So I okay. literally just mailed it to you. Um, I, I did see this something came through. Oh. You cut that. Um, so, we have. Okay. So what we did was we cut it in half to 15 kids. Ran, we ran the numbers with 15 kids, which would give us two counselors. Um, and the, we, we come up short a little bit because we don't have the offsetting costs. So in revenue. Yes. So we would have to raise it from 120 to 150. So although Right, so what I did today, um, we had talked in our last committee meeting about, when Jody did this initially, it was four days, and we had talked about having this a three-day camp, but we thought that was more feasible um, to keep the cost low or lower. And so what I, on, on the, the budget line that she just sent you, the, there were two, um, the salaries for the director and the and counselor were still at that four day at 32 hours a week. So that can be bumped down to 24. So those numbers also change. Are you guys with me on that? No, no. <laughs> still, still, still bringing things up. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Uh, one, one, one. I've got. Is this the one you just sent, Yes. So, <coughs> let, let, let me. Um, so there's no change from. We're not. There's no change from the the camp. The smaller kids camp, right? That still has total expenses of fifty thousand four fifty five. Right. There's no changes to that. No changes mm -hmm. to that, and the revenue the, sort of matches it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so, it's okay, the so team the, camp. That's just the team the camp. Another part. iteration. So we've had a couple of iterations. So mm -hmm. the current iteration, then, now, now I'm ready to. I think now I'm now ready to figure <laughs> out where we are. So this is when we cut down the number of campers to. To fifteen. Yeah. For total. Total expenses, and there's a deficit of 33, 3400, let's say. But 
And this is what I was saying, but okay. that okay, deficit good. actually narrows narrows mm -hmm. with the salary. So uh, what do we need to change over. then again? So, so if she marks it to 30, uh, 24 hours. Which line, Jody? Right here. <coughs> Salary. Yep. And so that goes to that would be 32 hours. Uh, this does say 32 hours. No, it would be 24 for both. Yes. So the, the director, assistant director is still $16 at 35 hours a week. No. No. The hours change because we're only doing it three days a week. So for all of them, it changes. All so these. it's going to be 24. So director, assistant director is $16 at 35 at 24, 24 hours, hours, which comes to three to four week times. It's 26.88 on that line. All right, so that reduces that by, what's that, 1200 or something like that. And then line with the counselors, the, yeah, would be 24 hours, 24 hours times 14, which is comes to 2352. Okay. So now if I go all the way down, now my total expenses are 15,780 and the deficit is 1,380. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and there's actually a chance what I was talking to D about is what we want to offer for this team camp is a ability to um, choose weeks so we potentially can have more um, different campers so you could potentially kind of have a couple extra dollars in there for registration fees for extra you understand what I said so we could have 25 people registered but only 15 for yeah week. I actually did fall yeah good all right <laughs> sometimes Probably. I think I say something that comes out right but um, so so how are you, how how are you, uh, how is that deficit going to be handled? What are you, what are you thinking? Well, um, I have, on the on the charge. So I went through the the program again. <coughs> if um, if it's one thirty per week, that increases our um, tuition from twelve eight to or twelve six to thirteen six fifty. So by increasing it by ten dollars. Okay, now you've got a deficit of three hundred and thirty dollars. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good. It sells I would agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. So so thank you. First of all, before we get into the whatever, thank you both. Thank you, Jody. Thank you to the entire rec committee for having taken this on last year at the final hour and and having a successful, not perfect, but successful mm -hmm. summer program. So thank you. All right. And thank you for continuing with your work. It's a work in progress, definitely. So my, my own personal worry is I start to see these the amounts of money get bigger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know that you've got you're planning to have it covered by revenue, but it's the, it's just the money that's being turned around and the the opportunity that it presents for lack of control, for you know, not for an audit risk. Mm -hmm. So I don't have an answer. I'm just I'm just voicing my overarching concern about this. And um, the both of these, the team camp and the summer camp, would have a director or whatever. It's it's a different person or because they're the same person. Um, well, you know what? We we really <coughs> originally we bought two separate camps, and what we kind of really just started discussing was that it was going to be a part of the, but just offered to older kids, the mm -hmm. 12 to 15 year olds who we really think are kind of missing out on any type of activity over the summer. Mm -hmm. um, so I think ideally if we get a if we do hit the fifteen camper maximum, it would be nice to have two separate directors. It would be nice because if you're sharing directors that comes 
Well, that, that could be a logistical nightmare. Or have two assistant directors was an idea, too, that we would have the one mm -hmm. director running both programs mm -hmm. and have, you know, one assistant for, for each program. Mm -hmm. work too. Um, I, I know the data is there, but I mean, what, so what, how, what have you budgeted as a salary for the director and over what span of time? Well, and that's, you know, I think we kind of, that was one of our biggest conversations over after last summer, you know, we really feel like we need to offer um, decent pay. What we were just talking about was having the potential of $19 an hour, which, mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we had one applicant last summer, so if, if we, you know, increase that range, we might have a, a better pick. Does the budget reflect that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. yeah. The budget reflects the higher end. So we were thinking anywhere between $17 to $19 an hour. And of course we budget for the higher end of that. And that's for, uh, the direct loan is $325 for the entire summer. So it's 19 hours. So what, starting from what to what? Yeah, what would you say? You would, that would be a total. Um, we would need some of this time before camp starts. Before yeah. Yeah, I think before camp starts, for sure. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we're actually where I'm going. I'm, I'm yeah. not going to play. Tell me where you're going. <laughs> well, you know, we had this flippant exchange yeah. when you were sitting here the other day. Yeah. And if, it, you know, I don't know what the board thinks. This is just, just me kind of thinking out loud, is that if, if these programs support it, it would be so much better if we had, uh, you know, an employee. Somebody was going to be there, you know, for more than one summer, you know. So even if it's, you know, six months of the year, maybe five months of the year, but, you know, that we would actually hire somebody for whatever it is. Maybe it's part-time. It's sort of what we're doing here, but there's always been this, oh, it's just for this summer kind of thing right. about it. Do you know what I mean? And that's... I'm now thinking maybe we should, is there any way to think about, and I'm not saying for this right now, right. but just kind of thinking about the future, uh, that it, it might make sense for us to. I, I mean, I personally, having done as much as our committee has done, there's, there's definitely a need for a recreation director. I mean, whether it's part-time or you know, towns all around here have them full time. Right, but know. they're bigger and they have right. more money. So <laughs> absolutely, yeah. So so yeah. How well, that, do we find somebody? To yeah, if, if it, it may not work, you know, because we may just we may just have to do it. But what concerns me is, you know, having a committee. The committee is really not the supervisor of an employee. So we've already talked to Jody, and Jody has agreed to be the supervisor. Of the employee, mm -hmm. the, that's good. You know, that the helps. yeah, who will then be the supervisor of the of the counselors and anybody like that. No, uh, but if it were, you know, if we had somebody like a director of recreation, even though it was very constrained, but if it was sort of built into our own minds, I think somehow. I, and I don't really know how it's different from what, what we're doing here, other okay. than that person would do the budget, <coughs> right? And so the committee would be there and support sort of leadership, you know, that kind of thing, uh, volunteer help, those, but, you know, you would, we would have somebody who would be doing the budget and coming before us and presenting the budget. Um, you know, the, the, our other, some of our other, our other departments that present budgets are like the police, and so we have a police chief who's yeah. accountable for the budget. Fire, we have a fire chief who's accountable for the budget. Library, we have a board of library trustees who are accountable. The cemetery, there's yeah. cemetery trustees who are mm -hmm. uh, accountable. So you see where I'm going. This mm -hmm. kind of it has always been sort of like it is, but you're not a, you're not employees, <laughs> and you're not trustees, so you have no official. All right. So. so you're looking at no, 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 no. Good. Uh, not that I, I mean, do you know, do you know what I'm saying? It, yes. It's, well, and we ran into those issues over the summer. Yeah. And we're kind of like, who does who what takes to care of that? Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
So we fumbled through a lot of So we're still scenarios. kind of building this up. Yeah. So so my uh, my concern is that this is a lot more exposure. Like you guys did a great job last summer. We had an overall budget though of thirty thousand. So if there's <coughs> oops and there was a little bit of an oops, yeah. but it was manageable. If it's even if it's that same level of oops with this, because you've got a bigger thing, it, the, the the amount's gonna be bigger. And so uh, so, so I know you were careful putting this together. What are some of the, what could go wrong? What, 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 uh, are you, are you counting on more, more kids? Is it built with more kids in the, in the summer? I, well, I briefly, and I, and I wanted, I don't know if you wanted these numbers. So how it turned out, we had 76 kids total this past summer. We had 61 Rollins for kids and 15 out of town mm -hmm. kids. So, you know, my hope, and I, I know most everybody that I've talked to has said really great things, that we do have, you know, 15 more kids. I mean, that, and I was just showing Dee kind of the numbers that I threw together, but like, or maybe 15 more kids. <clears throat> and that would stand a reason that there would be, I don't know, 15 is the, is, is the right number, but there should be more people. I mean, word of mouth, I mean, there had been a, there had been a disappointment in, in prior years as the program sort of changed a little technical. Right. People weren't satisfied with the product they were receiving. The uh, numbers we put together were based on the So you should have some more. 15? I don't know. Is that three? Mm -hmm. That is three. What age, what, uh, what age level? Where do you have to you to take be entering in the first grade? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there, there's no doubt that the kindergarten numbers have increased. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where, so there's a bigger pool of in-town folks, so that's that's good, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You might know some of those. I do know some of those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Talk about <laughs> <laughs> So, so there's that, so that, you know, I, I'm, I'm just trying to make it so that I, you know, we all feel better about this and that we're not exposing ourselves in the town to right. a problem down the road. Right. And I, I mean, I think there's a real, you know, the teen camp, you know, I think, I, I really hope, like, I look at my own kids, I have two in that category now, and I'm like, yeah, this is great, let's do this. Um, and I would like to think that people who had their kids stay at home all day, really, last year, and didn't send them to camp, that this is a better option. So, um, you know, I hope that it's not as expensive, or that gives them, but they also get the choice of choosing weeks. So that helps me as well to um, you know, keep my costs kind of mm -hmm. down that I can go four out of the seven months or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so I think there's really potential for this program. I think there's a real need. Um, you know, I think we need to start advertising for it like now, you know. And all of those kinds of peripheral costs are built into your yeah. budget. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I had another thought, it's already gone. So, well, it's, it's you know, what happens if there's a turnover in the committee? To, you know, what if, what do you do? <laughs> we, well, we, yeah. we do, we do <laughs> I mean, and I don't mean like this year, you, you, obviously you guys are committed, you've got energy, and, and that's, and it's a wonderful thing, I'm just, it, it's again, it's how, this, this kind of model, which is the only one of its kind, really, in the, in the town, where we've got a big chunk of our budget, and... That's what happened before. People got burned out, they did for so many years. Mm -hmm. yeah. They got tired of it and passed it on to someone else. And so do you... There was a lost year or so, that where then you all stepped in and... And, and, and the board, and and the board up, sort of so. lost sight of what was going sure. on, yeah. you know, and which clearly it's not happening right now, but I'm thinking, so what happened, you know... Or can, are there elected uh, recreation commissioners? Uh, process mm -hmm. and procedure being passed along easily? Is that what you mean? That sort of thing? I, I knowledge, mean, like a knowledge I guess I still sort of mean, I do mean that. I okay. also mean, you know, if, if you lose too many folks in this committee, then there's nothing to keep it going because we don't actually have a director of rec recreation. We, her and I were just actually talking about that um, because we're finding that some of the volunteers we had 
over this past year may have gotten a little burned out or they're moving on to different things. Totally understandable. We just we, we need, to, need to bring more people, we need to bring new more people in. in. We were just talking about getting yeah. something together and starting to um, advertise for more volunteers and come to the next meeting. And mm -hmm. next, we really need you know, the, and maybe with we're only as good as the people that are doing it. So we need the numbers to keep yeah. it going. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so if kids all of a sudden younger, younger kids come, you know, and that would be nice if yeah. you have some parents of, of younger kids, because then, you know, they're invested yeah. in the program for a number of years. So I don't know when the town would be able to entertain this, but I think the best, I think, I don't know, I think the best option is if we had a director of recreation, not necessarily full time, but just someone who's job it is to think about these sorts of things and who could still have a committee, uh, you know, is, with help and support and ideas and, and those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. but that would be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So it's just something yeah. to, to, to think are about. We are the director. <laughs> just like we are the assessor. Just like we are the welfare. We are the... Well, I like your where you're going, but, you know, starting a stipend is is probably the best part, but it's not on my highest to-do list right now. For 30 years, we've been running on volunteers, and I understand what you're saying. But and we lost a checkbook, you know, <laughs> we had some audit risks, you know, so, you know, we're trying, the board, the board was completely disconnected. Uh, certainly, I was That's disconnected. That's what I mean. Yeah. Now that we're the board not, is we're not right to this rec program, right this we are. Hard. We are the directors of. Well, we're not going to be there. Micro. We're not going to be there selling popsicles or doing those things or setting up. Just systems. like we're not. Just like we're not building culprits. Right. We have a. We have a. <coughs> we have a, an organizational structure, though. That. Yeah. And we're going to hire a director. And I understand what you're. I totally agree what you're saying. And and moving down the road, it, it could happen. That's why I want, you know, stipend to keep them here, you know. Or but, worse, but I still have a full time job, so I can't take that job. <laughs> so, but, but I would love that job in a couple of years. <laughs> we can create a, a, a parks commission or a recreation. Commission. Yes, we never have. By <laughs> A recreation commission? Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah or, or park commission, whatever you want to call it. Recreation or park commission. commission. RSA 35B, colon 4. So. so what would that do? What would that do, Michael? Do they have, does that mean that they have if any town to be city, able to set up an account? If any town, city, or county, or village district decides that the above power shall be exercised, <laughs> Any town, city, or village district uh, acting through its governing body may either independently or in conjunction with the United States, the state of Maine, or any other political subdivision acquire land. When, okay, hold on, let me get that for me. That's how you acquire land. Hold on, it's on here somewhere. How you. It's got to Powers conferred in RC 35B one may be exercised to acquire the land. May be exercised by a recreation or park commission or any other board or commission authorized by the governing body. Okay, so you could create a, a parks and rec commission that can have agency over and can acquire land, that sort of thing. So um, to acquire and hold and dispose of real property, to make contracts, to grant concessions, to make charge changes, to use of facilities, hold on, there may be more. To enforce rules and regulations, to contract with any municipal corporation, to conduct a, uh, park and recreation programs. So there you go. To open and operate jointly with any other governmental units or facilities, uh, and to hold trust or manage public property useful for the accomplishment of these objectives. So they, they would have, much like the cemetery trustees, you can grant them certain powers, or the library trustees by statute have certain powers to manage that. So if you're looking, for a solution to the problem, it may actually exist. More than actually, they're not paid, but they're, they're elected mm -hmm. or appointed. Well, I think that's something to consider, so, right? So I don't know that we have the resources to do the necessary setup, research, whatever, to make it happen for March. Okay. So, but it's something that one of the things to think about: either some kind of commission, or <coughs> and or, you know, a director who would. Who would work 
closely reported to the board, I guess. You can add on a couple of hours for the year. Yeah, yeah. You know, and again, not necessarily now because you've worked, you've worked on this budget and uh, I don't want, it's, you know, it's too late to upset an apple cart that way, but, you know, for, for thinking, for, for, for the future, future thinking. And to just to kind of address the burnout sort of thing, I know that last year you were, you were meeting like almost every week. So maybe now where it's more, you know, got a year under your belt that, mm -hmm. you know, maybe you can be less. Less. Yes. I don't know. Now we have to figure out all the, the little problems that we have. So we have to come up with better solutions. <laughs> <laughs> and is Caroline plugged into the process so that you're, you know, for the financial end? So yeah, we, we started to talk with Caroline. Okay. So we've met her as a group once to talk about things that are needed, audits, uh, what we can do about perhaps uh, doing things online and how to pass that credit card key to the whoever's registering yeah. it. Yeah. So, we, we, so yeah, we've started the conversation and I'm sure we'll meet with her okay. a few more times to right. make sure we're hitting on the audit check marks. And I know that Jody had a question about the like, concession stuff and I called Summers Work today and they don't sell anything at their direct mm -hmm. department probably because of the but they, yeah. Well, they supply lunch too. Right. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's probably easier for them to build that in to kind of handle money back and forth. Yeah, right. But it's the but money handling. Right, that right. Gets. Barrington does a um, account per kid. Yeah, we actually we had taken that we had taken it out because we thought, well, maybe not this year, but it's just an account basis that parents pay up front and they pay down. Yeah, it's sort of account. like you know if you get a car, like a <coughs> wildcat card card sure. or something at U and H, you know, that you, yeah. you fill with a hundred bucks or something and. It's just that we don't have the technology to do that, but mm -hmm. setting up an account and you know subtracting from an account would do that. So, well, those are those are just you know my overall concerns. And you're you're meeting with the budget committee. December, yeah, first one. Okay. Six, I think. Six. Six. Mm -hmm. So it would, it would be eight. helpful, I think, uh, for I, I've been doing a lot of spouting, but I mean, are we generally supportive <laughs> of, of this? Budget and the ideas. And my my concern still is that you're asking for uh, a little less than eighty-seven. Mm -hmm. But Seven. if you that you're you're certain that you're going to do the that you want to do the um, the, the team camp. If we don't want to raise the money for for no reason, because even if you don't have it, we still have to raise the money. So it's going to affect the, the tax rate. So and that that still is a concern of mine. Yeah. So just just to be clear. Uh, the this eighty seven thousand I know it's yeah. less right that's so that that is going to end up whatever the final number is yeah. is going to be in the town's appropriation yeah. that will be voted on so once once it's voted on we have to raise the eighty seven thousand dollars whether you bring in the revenue or not is is irrelevant obviously we want you to bring in the revenue but if you decide like should you decide not to do team camp. We still have to raise those funds because it's in here, and now there won't be the revenue to offset it. So, so as long as everybody's clear about that, and <coughs> then, you know, you think that, you know, you you feel quite sure that you'll be able to go forward with that team camp. I did. Okay. Was that an idea? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So I don't think we need to have any action other than, you know, just like, Do you want the rec committee to meet again to vote on this new budget? Because mm -hmm. we they agreed on this budget, but there are a subcommittee of us. They should meet, yeah. So, because we're supposed to meet, our next meeting isn't until after we present to the budget committee. Well, they're not, they're not trust, you're not trustees. I, right. So, I, so are you okay with? I'm, I'm fine with that. With the select board. Yeah, with the, whatever the whatever this eighty seven minus the seventeen. Yes, and if you could send me as soon as you can a fresh copy, so um, I'm looking at you here. The, 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 the <laughs> yes, spreadsheet. I'd be happy to. Yes. <laughs> All right. So you wanted at a hundred and thirty dollars a week. Yes. That's what that's we just what did. Worked yes. Out. yes. <coughs> and that would be okay. And and what are we going to charge for out of town? We have different rates this year, right? Mm -hmm. Higher rates for out of town. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. 
So what we did for the summer it was a hundred dollars more okay. for out of town. I don't, but that was for the whole summer. So what's that break down to? How about we do that? Would you like twenty dollars more? Just want to do one point fifty. Okay. Suzanne, I'll fix yeah, these numbers and get it to you. All right, perfect. Thank you. Good. Yeah, Are we good? Thank, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Jody. Thank you very much. And Celia there in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to keep my thoughts to myself at the moment. You are. Take the Sunday around. Okay. We're not even again for the Sunday. Okay. Thank you. Alright, so, no, okay. so welfare is on our agenda, but there's no reason why we can't put that at the very end, uh, right? Um, yeah. Is that okay with everyone else? Sure. Okay, just, um, so, that's something that we talked about, because we're talking All right, um, project updates. Um, so the culvert is now moved to the site. We're having a signing party on November 27th, so not next Monday, but the Monday after. Okay. No, wait a minute. What is, no, it is next it Monday. Is next Monday. Next Monday. No, so not tonight, but 27th, closing right. on December 1st. Yeah. So I'm furiously working with USDA to get the final number. It looks like it will be about not quite 30,000 less than our authorized amount, and but there will be a final uh, oil tanners working on some, you know, the documentation, mm -hmm. uh, this sort of thing, uh, which would be about maybe four thousand dollars. So I'm looking to see that our operating budget would be able to support that. Um, so that's what that is. The remaining engineering work is really this documentation and uh, filing the Army Corps of Engineer certification and that those sorts of things. Uh, abatement. So I think we're talking about those actually in non public. So I think we can table it from here. Uh, transfer station fee schedule. So after we did the motion last week to change the fee schedule, when I went into the fee schedule, <coughs> our motion yeah, uh, didn't. Our motion did not reflect what the fee schedule had. So uh, I think I'm going to ask us to sort of redo it. Okay. So uh, what we had was a category under white goods called refrigerators, freezers, air conditioners, and dehumidifiers for fifteen dollars. Yeah. So there was no items with free on. I mean, that 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 didn't exist as a so if we're going to change something, yeah, sure. that we should ha it should have said that. That's what I was expecting to see. So I was very surprised when I didn't see that. Right. So our motion was faulty. Okay. So what I'm suggesting is that um, we take that category called white goods, which already has, you know, it has fluorescence, it has microwaves, and then that we take what was here as the first category and, and say, with Freon, for example, refrigerators, freezers, and air conditioners, twenty dollars. Right. Without Freon, for example, dehumidifiers, humidifiers, fifteen dollars. Okay. All right. Makes sense. So, if one of you could provide a motion that okay. that says we that we we uh, amend the transfer station fee schedule to reflect the following changes: items with Freon. We charge twenty dollars for disposal. Item white items without Freon, fifteen dollars. Second. 
Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All right, then we'll publish this. It says per action of the select board today. Um, I don't, I'm not sure we have to sign it. The ordinance is signed and it refers to the fee schedule. So uh, as long as the minutes are there, I mean, we, can, we can initial it. So, so, yeah. And then I can. On the, uh, it said when it was amended anyways, right? So. Yes. All right. Sorry. Okay, so I think we're good. Did you get, did you get all that? I hope so. <laughs> All right. So I just wanted to spend a little bit of time on the transportation fees. And exactly, I don't know exactly what happened last week, but I, I was blindsided and I'm disappointed in what happened and I just wanted to review it all. So we've asked you to sort of be our transportation person, correct? Yes. You, I believe, you came to us and proposed a $20 transfer station fee. Yes. I supported it. Yes. Michael did not. Yes. So, so far, up to date. All right. So, and actually, we passed a transfer station, a $20 fee for the transfer station. Yes. However, when I reread the ordinance, I said, uh-oh, this was not following the correct process. So that's okay. So then we scheduled a public hearing had the public hearing. I spent some time getting charts together, looking at data, compiling data so that I would have some stuff to show. And then we have a motion that doesn't support the $20 fee. And I don't really know what happened. I listen to the public. I represent them. So, so if three people had come here that night and said, you know, I think it should be 40 bucks, you would have gone up to 40? Sure. Absolutely. Well, I have to say respectfully that I just don't believe that that would be the case. <laughs> you also have, and I, and I apologize for throwing you under the bus one. Michael, Michael said no as well that night. Yeah. But Saturday, he goes, well, why don't you make it a $10 flat rate fee? And you said to him, that's what we proposed. Why did you vote no? How is that relevant to what I'm just saying? I'm sorry, I'm missing the vote here. Because I was trying to compromise. And this board is... In, and or a lot of change their mind. Right. So you don't chastise me for changing my vote when I listen to the people that I represent. What I'm saying. So this is the third time that you've questioned me. Yes. I, I, Just I, because I, I listen to the that. constituents. I'm allowed to change my mind. Yes, you're allowed to change your mind. And yes, I do agree that $20 is the best. But if the, if the residents can't support that, and the residents can't get behind that, then I'm going to compromise. And, I'll, and I am tired of me changing my mind. This is three days in a row. I love working with the both of you. I enjoy it. I love his humor. I love working with you. You're a great mentor, but I have no idea. Well, you have attacked me three days ago. I'm not attacking. I'm saying, what I'm saying is that... You're mad that I changed my vote. I'm deeply disappointed. Not that you changed your vote, that there was no preliminary... That this I'm not the only the one on this board. Yeah, but you're, it, was your, it was your proposal. I totally agree. It was your proposal. I supported your proposal. I did work that, that, helped, that helped support and show why it was a good proposal. I agree, and I would still love it to be $20. But if the residents can't handle that jump, then we compromise, and we work together. My only point is that we don't know that the residents can't handle that. All we heard from was Charlie and Mark, and I don't remember exactly what Celia said. I think Celia said she would only buy one rather than two. So that's, you know, one could, one could legitimately think that the fact that there weren't okay, 20 well, people here. one resident on Helwyn complaining about the road, and you were just about to spend $15,000. One resident. I, well, I wasn't. I wasn't. We so were in the process. I think we should just move past this, and next year, we'll try to see. I'm not going to support something that you say as readily as I supported this last thing, because I was left twisting in the wind. I think when we make a proposal, we have some, some, some commitment to it. I mean, if we're just going to sort of, 
if our commitment isn't strong, let me, <coughs> up, just let me say what I really want to say. It's not that one can't change one's mind. It's just that it is a big process to conduct a public hearing, to post a public hearing, to hire someone to come here and take minutes, and so, pay that person to take minutes. So you're upset that you did the work, and you didn't get the outcome you wanted. And I get that. I totally get that, Susie. It's not that I didn't get the outcome that I wanted. I mean, I, I would have... I don't know that I necessarily would have proposed $20. I was, here, I was supporting what you... You are a transfer station person. You said, it, you know, the the residents are our transfer station isn't self sufficient. You know, twenty dollars is. Um, I think it should be twenty dollars. So I supported that. Okay. I was not prepared for for the abrupt change of position. That's that, that's it, and I don't need to say any more. I was just blindsided by that. All right, unless uh, I'm happy to have somebody continue with this conversation. Okay. All right, let's go on. Front office printer, here it is. <laughs> it's the front office printer. So Caroline is still trying to determine if somebody would like this printer and what she you know, we never know. We seem to never know everything all at once. That there's going to be a maintenance fee associated with this, that neither of these departments knew at the time. So she's checking with them to make sure that, that they know, and then we'll continue to figure that out. Uh, recreation. I think we're. Excuse me. We. Um, it was to review the budget. We've done that. So unless there was another reason for that. Recreation. No, we covered it all. all right. <laughs> I don't know what this next one is. More article requests? Does anyone know what this means? Oh, we got an email. Is that the one for the uh, there's a, elderly disability? Yeah, I don't know if it's still there, but there was a, um, I think probably what, it probably is, George. Um, Mr. Mantos had left a um, uh, clipboard, sorry, I don't know, mental block here. A uh, um, clipboard with um, a proposed uh, warrant article uh, for a town meeting requesting a um, elderly exemption, but we already have one. Um, I think he was a little confused from our meeting. I think he might have meant the, what Jody just referenced, the disability one. Is, is that, maybe that's why it's on here? I don't know. I don't even know if it's still up there or not. It was on the community bulletin board. I don't know. But I mean, it sort of begs a larger question. I mean, maybe that's, maybe that's not even why this is on here, but um, I, I, I fully uh, support the public's right to um, to petition uh, to have you know warrants on on the town uh, uh, town on the town warrant, um, but I think you you have to go and out and get folks to sign it. I don't think you can just leave it on the community bulletin board and hope for the best because you know one that's only so large the board itself physically and it's supposed to be. Uh, I'm not sure that's the right use of the community bulletin board. I guess I, I don't need to say more than that. I, so, uh, so is this? I didn't ask this to be put on. I'm just assuming that's where it's about. I, I don't know. I can't think of any other warrant. Maybe there are other people that want them. I'm sure, but but I know we need to think. So there's two separate issues. There's one is the is that the proper use of the community bulletin board? I mean, there could be a hundred clipboards stuck stuck up there with people wanting to do that, and if that's what the rest of the board thinks should happen, <coughs> so be it. But I don't know if that's right, but the second part is is the the need or the necessity, or do we really want to go forward with a warrant article proposed by the select board for uh, the disability portion of the elderly um, exemption in conjunction with the elderly exemption? What will that cost the rest of the taxpayers? Must, there's always a it's like a balloon when you push one side, another part pokes out, right? So someone's going to pay for the to make up for that, just like we, we pay to make up for the veterans' exemptions and all that. So I'm not saying that we shouldn't, but it's just a reality, right? Someone's got to pay. Do we want to do it, or should we well, I think have the 25 already... folks do it themselves? I mean, well, I don't want he's, he's not, but I, let, let's, let's put that, the bulletin board aside for just a minute. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jody has offered, I think, to, to do a petition for to increase the threshold amounts for the elderly. Is that good? 
That's a separate one, right? So Saturday, yes. So that's a that's a different one. I mean, one. I, yeah, that's a different one. But we have to sit down and just determine if we're raising the levels. I believe. Right, but if you, I thought you were going to put the proposal together. That, am, I, am I remembering that incorrectly? That no, you were I, gonna... I think you are remembering it correctly. But when I read warrant article request, that's that means to me that means someone actually requesting, like the public requesting a warrant article. No, that's working on one together to right. do it. So I guess well, I should so get my mouth shut. I don't well, know public, why. It's the public can do any, I'm just public can do anything they want if they have 25 people who sign a petition. Okay, right? Absolutely. Okay. Right. right. So, but we as a select board have the authority to raise that threshold. We, we have the authority to, to present it to the town as a as a as right. a warrant, but it can also be petitioned if we. Correct. But I mean, it sounds like this board is is. You know, well, it's I think we need to find out. I'm sorry, I'm mean, no, talking talk over you. I'm sorry. But, I mean, yeah. it's um, it, it would give more support to have it come from the board, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if it's something the board wants to do, I, mean, I think we can do the research on it and yeah. and, and then consider it. Yeah, I, you know, I have no <coughs> idea the last time we raised the threshold. That's well, that should be part of I mean, kind of the research because it hasn't be been asked. done in ten years. Well, that it's not a legitimate threshold, really, is it? cost of living has changed dramatically in the last 10 years. Well, so. Probably not dramatically, actually. No. Okay, well, okay. cost of living perhaps. Income has changed, has not kept pace in the last 10 years. Correct. So, of course, our fixed income it never changes. But anyway, I, I think it... it, it so I'm be. certainly supportive of doing the research. I, you know, it will depend on what the actual amounts are and what, what, yeah. what they show, but... I mean, I think it's worthy of our spending some time if one of us is I can look into the other to, to, and see to do that. What the uh, elderly are yeah. and what their thresholds are. And yeah. yeah. Give you, bring you back those numbers. Okay. Sounds good. Do you want this town or do you want to use that I think it's helpful to have towns that are maybe about our size, like the Madbury mm -hmm. and Durham. Madbury and Durham. Yeah. Middleton. Yeah. Uh, 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 that could. I mean, you know, it's. Five now. Sorry. Only five, I think. Right. They have a larger tax base. That's true. And with all that development, they don't want to left. Yeah, I mean, they, yeah. They, have, they have more commercial at the moment. They have, yeah. I mean, they have people moving too. We still we can look at that. Okay, so we. Okay. All right, paid holidays. So I did do uh, holidays for us to review for 2018. Did I email that to you? I think you did. I don't remember. I, don't I can give it to, uh, I can email it to you as well, Sally, for the minutes. Holiday schedule. Yes, that was weird. So it's just a simple chart. I mean, if you did. You know, it just says, here are the holidays, observe, <coughs> when we observe them, and the town hall is closed, the transfer station is closed, and the library is closed. When did say A couple yeah, weeks so. ago, I think. Oh, okay, that's what's not right there. And we can distribute it to department heads and town officials first and see if they have any feedback. Yes, absolutely. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. It looks like the uh, list. I can't think of that. Well, I don't think there were any, um, you know, this year there were these anomalies. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know. But those were the so same holidays, and there was nothing. Yeah. What do you mean those are the Yeah. These are our town hall. We have ten. Yeah. yeah. I think you're missing it. Oh, I got them from the personnel policy. Hmm. Oh, Christmas is a Tuesday this year. So, that would be fine. Hmm. And New Year's must be. Uh, Veterans Day is a Sunday, and it will be observed on Monday. Hmm. The 12th. Yeah. Uh, 
we're observing it the 28th, which I suspect is the Monday. Very important day, the 28th of May. Is that someone's birthday? It is indeed. It's Memorial Day. Yay, we're not meeting that night. It is my birthday. <laughs> Three-day weekend. Well, I chose this, this year. This is the first time in my service that my birthday ended up on Monday, and that's one of the days that I chose not to, <coughs> not to come. All right, so that, then that, anyway, that one's taken care of. That's not a problem, so... Columbus Day is what, October yeah. or something, right? Yeah. I mean, the ones that are always on a Monday anyway, I guess I, uh, I don't know. I, I couldn't I remember if Columbus I, Day is one of those floating ones or not, but the, so obviously it's, it's on a Monday. It's always a Monday, so. The 8th of October. The third Thursday, right? So that's not an issue. But when Christmas Day, right? So it's Tuesday, so. Well, the King Day is always a Monday. New Year's is uh, Tuesday also. When the President's Day is February 19th, and that is also Monday. Mm -hmm. It's close to uh, Washington. When did one get the birthday? 12? Mm -hmm. It's kind of close, but it's a week away. And Washington is in January, isn't it? Or it used to be? No, 22nd. 22nd of February? Yes. I can't remember. Close, close to that, too. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't remember. It's ridiculous. All right. So, do you want to think about this? Do you want to check your calendars to make sure I... Yeah, it looks, it looks good. All right. Then we'll send this off to department heads and say this is this is it, so we won't have any of this confusing. Confusion next year, <coughs> yeah, that or any subsequent years, as mm -hmm. long as the board continues to manage it. Do it. Right. Right. All right. All right. Old Mill Lane Bridge. We have something, Jody. Did you see it? I got this template from uh, Coyle Tanner, and it more formally is it more formally uh, constitutes our application for the state bridge aid. So it says to the commissioner, the municipality of Rollinsford has placed one hundred ninety-three thousand dollars on its capital improvement plan to fund its share of replacing bridge number zero ninety zero fifty-two on Old Mill Lane. Those are the mm -hmm. those are the state's okay. notations for that bridge. The funding authorization from the town will occur prior to the anticipated construction schedule, which we understand will likely be no earlier than 2027. So what I mean by that is even though we placed it on the CIP, the town has not blessed it. Right? It's just, it's there. But, you know, if anybody wants to see it, you know, can see it. We understand that the town will be required to provide funding authorization for the entire project with the state share to be reimbursed on a cost reimbursable basis by the New Hampshire DOT. We anticipate using short-term funding to manage the cash flow. So when it actually comes due and we bill this, we have to pay, it's, let's say it's whatever it is, it's, it's $700,000. We have to pay that $700,000, and then we get reimbursed by actually UOT. So we'll likely need a construction loan and have to assume that that's <coughs> Fortunately, that's not until 2027. That's the earliest. So, um, so some of us may still be here. I know some of us will not. With this understanding, the town of Rollinsford requests state bridge aid for bridge number 090-052 on Old Mill Lane. So this is what I'd like a motion for us to um, complete this application and send it to the state. Sign the application for State Bridge Aid Construction Department of Transportation for um, construction occurring no earlier than 2027 for the Old Mill Lane Bridge. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All right, I will sign it. So what do you want to do with this one, which is... I think what we will ask, um, yeah, that was the project on which we got, this was the, yeah. so the 20% of that is the 193 whatever. So we'll 
ask Caroline to copy this and file it with all of this. So we can take it out of that uh, folder. I think we can all sign it. Yeah, I know, I'm just looking at it now. Yes, I do. Thank you. <coughs> All right. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay. So, uh, Michael just noticed that we skipped the paid holidays for employees on probation. So, my understanding is that um, the police department has uh, somebody on probation, and there are going to be some paid some holidays coming up, and they, the personnel policy says that they don't get paid while they're on probation. So the question was raised about uh, our highway department staff who are on probation. And I am contacting, the, I have a request into the Municipal Association for, um, they say that we can get, we have some free consultation for HR specialists. Mm -hmm. So I want to get connected with them because I think the difference is salaried and hourly. Okay. So I want to figure out what, what that is and make sure that we are on firm ground when we figure out how we're going to manage this. Our policy is silent on it? Well, Carol, I haven't read it. Caroline says it does say that if you're on probation, you don't get holiday pay. Mm -hmm. But if you're salaried, that's, there's no holiday pay. You get your salary. salary right? So, so we may, uh, for clarity, we may change the park personnel policy to better reflect that. But even so, with, even with the language that's currently exist, mm -hmm. there it may still point to the fact that a salary <coughs> person is handled differently from an hourly person. So, but I did tell Caroline to make sure that our new hourly person at the highway department is aware of that, of that because there are a bunch of holidays coming up. So, I, and, and if the board feels differently about this, uh, you know, I'm amenable to talking about it, but uh, that apparently that is what the policy says. I haven't had time to look at it myself. Um, so, you know, I, you know, thinking back when we when we revised it, I don't, I have no recollection of us talking about that. We very well may have, but I have no recollection of us talking about. We may not have that. felt the need to talk about it because it, it was there, and we, yes, uh, you know, we just kind of passed on it, and so you know, it's not, it's it's no, uh, something against our what we did, our review level. I mean, you know, when you, you don't have a situation. It doesn't strike you as something that you have to consider. So, it doesn't strike me as fair to the employee, but you know. I'm um, the probationary period. I'm going to be working time period. Time period from the authorities. And the designees shall abide with the abilities. Six calendar months. Twelve calendar months for police. I mean, we, we, we give them their sick time right away. We give them sick access to sick leave. We give them access. I don't know about vacation. Maybe the vacation, they can't take vacation for a while. So I, I, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't looked at it. But anyway, we can, we can have that. I would encourage you to familiarize yourself with that section of the policy. And I will. Um, I don't see it. You don't see it. Page two and three. I see that there is a probationary period. Yeah. Just, uh, that's why I have no recollection. I mean, I, I, I think I would still have the same feeling now so I'm ha I would have then, that it just strikes me as completely unfair to our employees that we would, we would not pay them for 
for vacation days because we're during the probationary period. I would think that that would that would do that would not that would not bolster my morale as an employee personally. But I just I'm the only one that works. So. I have to agree with Mike. Oh, I, I agree with that too. I, I I was surprised. I was sort of blindsided by this. I really. That's why I really. I, I, I'd like to look at the policy myself too. It's I, possible that the police, you know, they do have their own. And I remember asking, should we have somebody read it to make sure that we're not, you know, like this? Time worked shall mean all the time required to be served while acting directly in the scope of an employee's duties, including all authorized holidays. What happens if the person has to work that day? I mean, well, they get paid. They get paid. They, no, they get paid. If you're working, you're getting paid. Mm -hmm. It's it's you get paid if you don't work. That's the that's the issue. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah, it goes into promotions and then demotions, but yeah. it says like it's more of your evaluation of your work. How are those yearly evaluations? Sorry. <laughs> that's not directed towards you, I man. That's to the three of us. <laughs> Joint loss meets in a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we can look at it again, and I and I can go back to Caroline to say, well, where, where are you seeing that? that? Where are you seeing that? Because our cursory reading last night doesn't show it. So, but I'm still going to pursue uh, with sure. the uh, with this consultant as soon as I get connected to him or her. All right. Um, so that was it. Was that the only thing I missed? I don't know. Holidays. Can't, yeah. Okay. I think so. I think now we're back to joint loss. I, I don't know if there's anything to you'd like to add, Jody. Yeah. No, we're meeting. Um, nothing's happened. Uh, we're meeting next week, I believe. All right. Uh, welfare. We know we're not dealing with that until some of these um, current financial things are managed. So we'll go on to the town administration. Standing items. Um, what's up for everybody? It's a short week. We shouldn't be shouldn't be doing too much. Everybody's. Uh, so I am meeting with the Plumptons tomorrow afternoon. Oh yeah, so I'll let you know. Yeah. So they want to review their. Uh, uh, they wanted to meet with the board members, so. So I, I will report back to the board as uh, necessary. As okay. that's it for me. Otherwise, it's <coughs> safe for the week, I guess. Until well, the first week of December. Good. Okay. Excellent. Full week of December. Um, okay. So this is going to be a full work then. Okay. Permit 2017 120 131 Clement Road. That's for paving. Uh, it's been done previously. Um, they have a building permit for it now. It has not been reviewed by Mr. Clark. And, uh, but they have attached a bill, um, a proposal from, uh, from the paving company. And it was uh, the estimated price was eleven thousand five hundred dollars. Uh, so we assume this is a legitimate. Uh, it's hard to work with it. So I would say we we'll just put that in. Yes. We just uh, so approve. So Salma, you enter these things in a spreadsheet, right? And it doesn't make any difference that Tom does or doesn't see them. It won't upset anything that you do. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Okay. Take out my it's 
What is the I'm doing it What is the bill? It's a hundred and fifteen plus twenty five. That's a hundred and forty. It's a hundred and forty by car. I don't need a calculator, but I need to discipline myself to think. Mm hmm I was trying to avoid that. I should just pull up the data and that it done. Apparently, I moved it. Anyway, it's okay. I wasn't right. So. Uh, next is program number 2017 129, uh, 23 Rollins Road. Um, uh, aha, okay. Mr. Clark has looked at this one and he says, please hold the. Um, the owner needs to apply for a variance, so we actually we should be denying it if they need to go apply for a variance. Mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't it doesn't have the. Does plans. it indicate why? He does not. So <coughs> I, I'm, I'm not. Well, let's put a post-it and say, should we deny this? Had at that to it. I'm not sure that it's. I'm not sure that it's sufficiently complete. To it's not. So they're they're putting on a double wide carport. Um, I so I would have to assume, which I know is always dangerous, given my math skills, that um, they don't meet the setbacks. And that's the only reason I could imagine they need a variance. But where is it located? Okay. Twenty three Rollins Road. Okay. Somewhere up on the same side as well. Mm -hmm. Very close to the uh, yeah, Dover line. Right? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I don't know. It has to be set back. Anyway, so I've ordered why yeah, we okay. need more info. And that's the only, uh, that's that's the only building permit I have. There's a lot of stuff there. Uh, yes. Oh, tomorrow I think it'll be done in the public, I think. Yes. Okay, to the collector of taxes, uh, sir, <laughs> Anyways, I didn't type it, by vote of the select board upon the, I know we did, uh, upon the application of uh, Kathleen Adams, 41 Pine Street, Rollinsford, uh, in September 2016, the town began the required audit of elderly exemptions and veterans' credits as mandated by the New Hampshire Department of Revenue Administration. Mrs. Adams failed to return the said documentation timely, and the $100,000 elderly um, Exemption was removed from her 2017 PO1 property tax bill. Um, Mrs. Adams has since provided the select board with sufficient documentation to prove that she does in fact qualify for the $100,000 elderly exemption. Accordingly, the Board of Selectmen uh, requests the tax collector to process a 2017 PO2 beginning uh, balance abatement in the amount of $2,327 on map 14-47-0 for order of the select board. So, mm -hmm. are we good with that? Yes. All right. We'll just sign it. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. something happened. I, I don't know what happened. <coughs> yeah, I remember getting it on. I didn't type it, I just read it. And the other two that we have here are um, uh, one is an abatement, one is also an abatement request. So, we done a non public? Well, I don't know, we didn't do this one. Mm -hmm. This was the final determination, though. I mean, leading up to it, do we? Uh, yeah, if we're talking mm -hmm. details, mm -hmm. yes. So we, we do have um, a non public schedule. So, yes. One is relative to land use change tax for. Um, okay. Um, um, Current use, yeah. and the other is uh, also uh, uh, concerning an elderly exemption and a revocable trust. So. Okay, so we'll take those care both of those. Need to be down in non-public okay. until the determination is made. I need the other building permit back, please. If we have it, no, oh, it's done. It's not. It's done with it. Yeah, that's it. That's the only one I have. Thank you. Right, that one's been executed. 
That's it. activity um, at the reference property that requires a building permit. So the specific activity of the paving of the driveway, absence of the permit, constitutes a violation of the law. In addition, the state uh, maintained highway, a uh, driveway permit is required, violation of RSA, blah, blah, blah. You are hereby directed to contact Town Hall to submit for an application of the necessary driveway permit. Failure to comply with the directive may result in the Town Hall Town of Rollins for initiating the appropriate legal action to gain compliance. I see Ms. Dyer. There's 724. I would respond if I that level. Would you? Yeah, a legal action? Or what? No, I'd probably actually respond to the town hall and find out what's going on if I got a letter that says that. That's me. There's another one. I now, uh, it does say it may result in the town issue being legal action. Yeah, being I know. Like I said, I would. So, are you comfortable with my signing this? Yeah. Do we ever... think that those RSAs are correct and everything? Blah blah blah. Well, who, who wrote it for you? I suspect Caroline. I didn't write this. <coughs> Was it coming from Tom Clark or? Well, I, it didn't say that. I Tom would, might feel better. Before I sign this, I'm going to check to make yeah. sure that Tom has seen this. Is that all right with you? Yeah, I'm fine with it. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll sign it. Is that and okay? And I, I agree to sign it after right. speaking with Tom Clark. All right. All right. I agree. So right. there's another one, though. Can we put if, this, just can we put a post it? Yeah, we didn't go over compliance tonight. So if, do you mind if I just bring it up real quick? Sure. We have that one. Uh, 71 Toll Road. Mm -hmm. they're, putting in a new, they're putting in a new driveway. It's Mr. Electric, I think. They've got a big backhoe and they've created a brand new driveway and uh, I don't know if some excavation. <laughs> so, a couple days ago I drove by and went, hmm, what's that? Well, I would uh, encourage you to let Tom and Carolyn know. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm open. On my to do list. Not on yours. No, no, on uh, Caroline's. Well, it gets here so first. Just email it to us? Yeah, yeah. You've got you've got the data. It would just be easier if you could have it. All right, I'll do it. Super. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. I'm doing it right now. So everyone okay. knows why I'm okay. fiddling around with this like thing. Yeah. So we're gonna hold off on one. Is the, the envelope that we got from Mark at the end there? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, uh, Hoyle and Tanner uh, attach our two copies of our monthly invoices from period October 15th <coughs> to November 11th. That's also an FYI. Yeah. So I think it should be, what, 7,700, something like that. Yep, exactly. This was largely, I think, the construction, the last construction oversight for the culvert project. So it's coming out of the, the warrant. Um, it's going out of the warrant. Awesome. Move to request um, a disbursement. I agree. So move. Move your second. I can't do it. It's for me, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So it's disbursement for a stipend for the uh, select board. Now. I didn't take anything in the third quarter. Now we're in the fourth. And soon to the end of the fourth quarter. I think I probably should do it. So. Let's find it all over the place. I'm going to. Well, thank you for the advice. <laughs> Uh, Comcast uh, sent us more mail. They love us so much. Um, channels are changing. 
Uh, prices are changing. Packages are changing. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Purchase order 1286 to Green Shadow Property Maintenance for Boeing Newtown and Old Town mowing and trimming. This is the ninth mowing of the year for $1,345. Second. Any discussion? I wasn't there to say aye. Aye. From Berkeley Insurance Company. Um, I believe this is our bond from C, um, J. Parker and Daughters. Um, bond, um, bond number 0208582. Um, an amount of $279,020. Well, I don't know what this is. I don't, I really, I don't remember that, to be honest with you. Please note, upon completion, please forward. Oh, I see. They want us to complete something. Date of completion of work. Approximate acceptance is final contract price. Oh, okay. Um, all right. So... I will fill this. I can't do it now because I need to refer to everything. So tell Caroline to check in with me and I'll... Um, so what they're asking, just so so I can get your okay for my completing this, it's, it's just to say that they've completed their work. We've had the final inspection and, and uh, the final pay rec has been approved by Hoyle Tanner. We're waiting for USDA to get the final approval. So that will give us the final contract price uh, and... And I'll be I'll be saying I I'm not aware of any unpaid bills, which I'm not, and that's it. So I guess the bond folks just want to know when they get released the the money that they've committed to that. So please please post it. Yeah, can't do this. Thank you. <coughs> any questions on any of these professional services? assessing agreement as your current agreement is due to expire on December 31st. Three-year period prior to your next update of values to ensure equitable assessments. And I'm assuming you're looking for a final number here. What's the date on that, Jody? The 9th. November 9th. They've, they've issued another one. Because this is, I didn't see that, but the email that it sent to me had a price that was 25% more. Remember, I said for this? one piece, right? Yeah. For the right for the appraisal contract right. piece, and so they are reducing. They have reduced that. They did. They did, but they, but Jody, as you as you as you look through that, you will see, I think, that they are including this. Uh, <coughs> The, what they call data validation, so a quarter's worth of data validation for every year. Yes. And that's, we had Chad come talk to us about that a couple of months ago, if you recall. And I thought the board said, we don't think we want to do that. We're going to stick with the way we've been doing it. That was my yeah. recollection. So, so we I, build a data ver verification on monthly invoice in equal monthly installments of $1,006.66. Yeah, across like five years or something like that. Yeah. Or four years. So, it, so I, I'm, I'm, unless the board has another thought, I'm going to get back in touch with them and say, thank you for, you know, reviewing the appraisal piece, but the contract, you know, we didn't, uh, we didn't decide to do, we decided not to do the data fair. Right. We talked to Chad, but decided not to do it. 
And then you also have an option of with utilities options or without utilities options. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. I will have to ask Chad. I think we need we need it with utilities because we need them to continue to manage the utilities yes. piece for us. That's what that's what I think. What is the utilities piece, Julie? Um, to be built, update update year 2022 in equal monthly installments of three thousand one hundred eighty three dollars, and will be noted on invoice as UC update contract. Monthly installments of three thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, without utility option to be billed. In, in update year 2022 in equal monthly installments of $2,766. Oh, I see. It's just an increase. And will be noted on invoice of update contract. So I, I, I think, I don't think, I don't encourage us to sign this tonight is what I'm yeah. saying. So we have more exploration to do. Okay, so we'll just... Um, so I broke down the back. would be $100,690. Without utility, would be $95,690. Sorry. With, with. For a five-year contract, this has been data verification and full update in the above. So, so we've, <coughs> we've sort of budgeted in the, in the if you remember the 10-year plan, 20000 to build up for the final rebel. So it's sort of like what it would be, but we agreed not to have them do stuff every year. So I'll, I'll just get back to them and see if we can get this thing straightened out so we have a contract that's more in line with what we actually do. We actually do, yeah. Okay. And there's also the question about having a multi-year agreement. Which I remember signing as a board member based on Ed's saying, yes, we can sign this, but I'll have to check to make sure that, you know, maybe it has this kind of language the that you need. The caveat that says only if uh, yeah. funding is approved by the town meeting. Right. So what makes sense? So just say that I'm checking on this. planning organization. Uh, notice of public comment period and public hearing. Um, updates to the 2015 to 2040 metro plan. Uh, will begin Friday, December, <coughs> uh, I'm sorry, Friday, November 10th and ends Thursday, December 14th. So it already started. <laughs> I'm sure we've been alerted by SRPC. We haven't met, though. I mean, the, the group that I'm on hasn't met it regarding, I guess. So. But just still, nonetheless, it's a general comment period for the yeah. general. For, it's a comment period for the general public. Right. Yeah. So, uh, the public however, hearing they, through review comment. I would have mentioned it to you that we were supposed to make comments. We haven't met, so. <laughs> the public hearing to review comments um, and social public comment it will be Friday, December 15th at 9 a.m. at the Rochester Community Center Conference Room 1A, 150 Wakefield Street. Is that behind high school? That's where SRPC is. That's okay. uh, the high school that Rochester never used. That was their community center. So, light reading there. And everything else is old as well. Yep. All right, so you're done? I'm done. All right, I'll ask for community input and then we'll go into non-public. Yes, Celia. I just have a question. Do your employees that are work hourly get holiday pay if they work a holiday or is that they don't usually work the holidays? Well, the police would work because right, we have coverage. So 
they get holiday pay, which I think for them, I think is time and a half. I don't know what's in their booklet. So, and it could be, um, I mean, it, it's really the police that's in question at the moment, so <coughs> we'll have to figure that out. And then the rest of the departments usually take the home and something. Unless they're planning. Well, yeah, so people... Our road agent is hourly, but our... Our road agent is salaried. Uh, yes, sorry. Our new road laborer would um, fall under this probationary thing if it exists, which we're not now sure it does exist, so we'll, we'll look it up. So, but, yeah. I'm just curious, if you get time and a half. Hmm. Um, if called out. Right. Called out. Okay. All right. All right, then I will uh, entertain a motion. Well, I have a question. Oh, yes. I'm well, actually, I have two. One is about the water tower. The other one is about Avatar and the assessing company. Are you just going to enter and, and have Avatar be the assessor, or have you thought about other companies? that provide that service. Well, I've called around to other towns, I don't think, myself. I've called around to other towns to see who they use. Um, mm -hmm. There's only about five in the state, and they're right. not happy with theirs either, for the towns that I've spoken to. But I haven't called every town. So, so my own opinion is exactly what Jody just said. It's sort of, I, I liken it to people who use software systems. You know, when I was, when I was working and um, involved with enterprise software systems that ran higher institutions of higher education, we would go to these national conferences, and they were like, you know, four or five major software systems that serviced schools of higher ed. And everyone complained about their software system. I mean, there's nothing... You know, it, nothing is perfect, and whenever you have a company um, that does something like this, particularly when it results in financial, has financial repercussions to your residents, there are going to be issues that are involved. And so, if we were a, a fully staffed, you know, amply resourced um, organization, you know, the, the most appropriate thing would be every so often to go out with an RFP and look around. That takes that takes money. It takes time to even do that. We have a relationship with Avatar. My own personal opinion is, it is for me, it's not worth the energy to try to hunt around because we're going to end up being equally unhappy. So we might as well be unhappy here without having to do the work to be equally unhappy. That's right. sort of how I would look at it. <coughs> That's question number one. Do you have another question? Yeah, I did. That's the one that wanted to The old one. Yeah, I think they're all both owned by the uh, Mick and Well, I shouldn't say that. By the Mick family. I'm not sure if it's still, because there was a, a, a divorce a number of years ago, and, and one party got certain properties and the other party got the other properties. I don't know which one owns it. Are we talking about but the ones across the street? Yeah. Like I mean, a railroad What's going to happen when it falls down this one? I guess I'm wondering about the liability of that. Well, what happens if you have a house that you've abandoned? Right. Right? Who's liable for that if it falls yeah, down? No, I just didn't owner. know if it was something that belonged to the town. I don't know. It's not, no, it's not, it's not a town it's property. Mr. Aspie, who owns. The, the former Bluen building has been trying to negotiate well, at, at discussions with the current owner uh, regarding purchasing it because he wants to have it um, restored and turned into a park. That's part of his his building over there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know if it's actually going to ever happen, but he's so he. It's not the towns. It's 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 private property. But it's a good point. What happens if? Um, we have alerted the owners to the issue of the hole in the ground, um, but other well, yeah, other than that, I, you know. Well, I mean, if it if it looks like it's a hazard, I guess we can have Tom. Yeah, we, we can, want it to. Yeah. 
But I mean, Tom does uh, wonderful work for us. He truly does. But he's not really a structural engineer. And I wonder, as an old iron structure, if he really is. Is it iron? He would feel that, yeah, and steel. If he would feel qualified to even make a judgment, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Ask him, but I don't want to speak for him. But uh, it's. And it's not. I don't but think it's quite as simple as going to the house. Yeah, you, 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 yeah. I mean, you can't just you know yeah. cross onto somebody's property and start yeah, looking at it. So that is also true. Yeah. He's a structural engineer. You can go through town and be like, nope, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. All right. Anything else? I will entertain a motion to go into non-public. I think we have a couple of things. Yeah, okay. First, uh, we'll, so we're going to go into non-public session for two different things, for uh, welfare petitions and for for abatement. So I'll move, move that we go into non-public session for the purposes of hearing welfare petitions. Second. Oh, Paul Michael? Yes. Jody? Yes. Suzanne? Yes. And then we'll be going home in case anyone wants to come.